To do is to add a brand new feature and it's called deadlines. It'll help you to organize a task for later, but also still allow you to time block. Today, we're gonna to explore it and see how it works in this video. This video is kindly sponsored by AkiFlow. You can find a little bit more about them below. So as you can see, we're inside a Todoist and what we're gonna show you is how this works. And the first port of call is how you actually add a deadline, quickly adding them into your tasks. Now, adding stuff into your tasks is always something that a lot of people like to do fast in Todoist. I always write Tom and then ABC, for example. And that will add the regular due date, which we know and love. That's probably when we do it. For some other people, it can be just when it needs to occur or even start. Um, but there's this new deadline button, but you can bypass that and use these, I don't even know what they're called, squiggly, squiggly hyphens. I don't know. Tell me in the comments whether, <laughs> whether I'm uh, wrong. Um, and I can put something like fry in there. So I can still use the natural language or I can put the 23rd of January and it's gonna get that. So if I add that task now and I go to tomorrow, you can see that task ABC, I've done two tasks ABCs. Uh, and there it is, task ABC. The task has been added. It's got the date of tomorrow, which is the, due, the actual due date and the deadline date being January the 10th. And you can see now something pops up, which is, a little sort of hexy line around the edges. You're gonna to have to tell me what these lines are. Um, and that basically indicates a deadline. It's a really nice one because what you can do is you can still move the original task into say the time blocked area and it's not affecting the deadline. I can even move it back, forward, whatever. If I moved it to today and I clicked in, it's gonna give me an indication. If I move the deadline of it, for example, if I go and move the deadline to tomorrow, it's going to dynamically change it, which is nice. So it's always adapting to it. You can also set a deadline, so three days after the date, which is helpful. And when I um, move it, it still obviously comes up and that still comes up and organizes, which is great. So I can still time block it and it's incredibly helpful. So that is how you use it inside of this area. But if you were to use it inside of here, this is how it should appear, which is really nice as well. So in general, this deadline feature is a great way to see and plan ahead and organize your work in a better way. If you've got work that is bigger than just a task, it'll also work with subtasks as well. So you can have an overarching task but then the subtask provided will help you to get the job done. So that's incredibly useful and a way that you can use to do a deadline. So check it out below. And if you're interested in generally AI and guides and tools like that, you can find our guide to AI and productivity below. Thanks so much for stopping by and uh, go make a deadline <laughs> or not. <laughs> Cheerio folks.